I just got one question. You think you're ready for this? Get in the building! Move! Move! Move faster, you! Move! Hey guys, what up? It's your boy, everyone coming at you with a fresh new video. In this video today, you guys, I'm going to be showing you some things and teaching you how to survive the first night of Navy boot camp after quarantine and all that. But yeah, it's going to be pretty awesome. We're going to get straight into this. So one thing you guys need to understand is you guys are going to be placed under impossible expectations. Nothing you guys do is going to be good enough, even if it's perfect. I just want you all to understand that. That's part of the breakdown process. It's normal. Everybody goes through it. I went through it. It's really, really annoying sometimes. It's really, really difficult. Everybody has different reactions. Most important thing you want to do is just not get frustrated and get an attitude. Otherwise, you'll end up like this guy. Get that attention! Now! What is your problem? Yeah, basically, so nobody wants that. All right, so like I was saying, you're going to be placed under some expectations. You're not going to be able to fulfill them. You know, it's just you have to understand there's a process, and it's going to come with time. With that being said, the process of the first night will go kind of as follows. You're going to get off of the bus. Hurry up! Let's go, female! Hurry up! Hurry up! Let's go! Move faster, you! the bus and get in the building move 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 faster you move it's gonna be super crazy super hectic they're gonna have you guys in the hallway they're gonna give you guys a series of commands things that you need to do they're gonna make you guys multitask and they're gonna pressure you guys and see how you guys react under pressure as such welcome to the united states navy for the next eight weeks you will not do a single thing on your own i tell you what to do how to do it when to do it Nothing that I ever tell you is a request, an option, or a suggestion. You will roll up your pant legs three inches up. When you are done, you will be on the tow line, standing straight, looking straight, awaiting further instruction. You have 15 seconds. Go! Go! Hurry up! Let's go! Hurry up! Let's go! I say behind you! Behind you! Not next to you! Then you guys are going to basically get squared away with all that. You guys are going to go do your year analysis. And then it's kind of just running all over the place, honestly. It, it was so chaotic and hectic. It made no sense. Um, like, sometimes, like, the RDCs didn't even know what I had done. And they were like, what, what all do you need to do? And I was like, well, I, I haven't been to Diddy Issue. All right, go to Diddy Issue. I, I pay off, sir, and I have to run to Diddy Issue. So, it, like, I think that thing that makes it really, really confusing is... Sometimes they do have recruits help out with directing the new arrivals. And these people have only been there for a matter of an hour or so. So things just get confused. Like, um, for instance, one of my, one of my buddies from, from boot camp directed me to go to the issue. Then I came back and then he was like, hey, go over, get your, your feet sized and all that. Where they're like medium stability, you go or whatever. You know, they check like your feet to see what kind of shoe you would need. So the recruits were running those machines. The machines went down. Then they're like, hey, chief, we don't know what to do. And the chief like told them how to like reset the, the system for the machine. Like, it, it was just crazy. But yeah, you guys are going to go get Diddy Issue. You're going to put all your stuff in a box. Um, you're going to go get your Eagle card, which is like 150 bucks or so on it. You guys are going to go to the store, get some things that you need or whatever. And then... <clears throat> Like I said, you're gonna go get your your shoes and whatnot, and that's pretty much it. You're gonna be sitting in a hallway, just just waiting, and waiting and waiting. Uh, they're gonna do your measurements and things like that in the middle of the hallway, um, but then you're gonna just be waiting. Now it seems really simple. This is a matter of hours, right? So how do you survive all this? Well, honestly, it it's it's so simple as this. You just have to take a deep breath. You know, they're not gonna like really be yelling a whole lot, but it just depends. On people are not listening you just want to make sure a take take your mask and hook it up from the right side and then the left side facing left all right so then I would take my mask hook it up from the right side then the left side facing left you know they're gonna give you a series of instructions for things you just want to make sure you just follow their directions to the T if you follow their directions to the T 
you're not going to have any problems. Yeah, they're going to yell at you because you're new and it's just to scare you. But like, you have to understand, it's a breakdown process, right? This is to start building you to be the person they want you to be, essentially, that, that the Navy needs, the one mind, the one team type mentality. So it all starts with the night of arrival. You just have to, you have to be open to the change. You know, it's, it's like I said, it's a process, but it's all there really is to it. Just keep level-headed mentality, listen to what they're saying, and just execute what they want you to do. And that's it. You're honestly golden. Now, really quick before I end the video, I want to give a big shout out to my sponsor, End of the AM. They're an amazing graphic apparel company. They create all sorts of amazing designs, so make sure you guys go check them out. They're having a huge sale on their entire website. Everything is 25 to 80% off. They're also doing a program called Get a Mask, Give a Mask. Basically, you go get one of their amazing masks. They're super comfortable, super breathable. They come with an additional filter. They don't hurt your ears. A bunch of great perks with these. Once you go get a mask, they're going to donate one to local hospitals. So that's pretty awesome. So it's a good way to support first responders while this whole virus thing is going on. So make sure you guys go pick up a mask. They're also 25% off, I believe. And also, use my affiliate code, Pereira. The link to everything is in the description below. That's going to save yourself an additional 10% off. So that's up to 90% off. So make sure you guys go take advantage of that sale while it lasts. That's insane. JT suits mode. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, obviously leave a like. Leave a like, leave a like, leave a huge like. I would greatly appreciate it. Also leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys. I talk to you guys all the time. It's amazing. Can't get enough. You guys are always asking me questions on my social media, which by the way, the links to those are in the description below. So make sure you go give me a follow and see all the little wacky adventures I go on. I'm always available to answer any questions you guys got concerning whatever. You know, how's my dog doing? One of you guys could ask about that. She's doing okay. But I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. But yeah, also, if you guys are new to the channel, do me a huge favor. Go check out some of the other amazing and helpful content I put out there to help you guys prepare for Navy boot camp, A school, the fleet, or just entertainment needs. I do reaction videos, stuff like that. So I do a variety of things. So go check out all the other stuff I put out there for you guys. If you guys like what you see, do me a huge favor. Smash that subscribe button. It would mean the world. That's all I really got. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs> that was pretty good, right?